What's up everyone, it's Tin here from Tutorials Hub. Now in today's video, I will show you Search Atlas Auto SEO Review. Now, is this the best AI SEO tool of 2025? It probably is, honestly. When I think about it, you know, when I first started using Auto SEO for my website, I was kinda, you know, mm, should I use it, should I not, but uh, right now I've been using auto SEO and I haven't even used all of the features for my website and this is just a review video to show you whether or not auto SEO is worth it. So uh, first of all what I wanted to say is uh, I didn't even touch the uh, auto SEO pixel. For those of you who don't know this tool has a lot of different tools inside. So auto SEO is not just this that you see it's also a AI content machine so it can create AI content it can uh, you know you have like site explorer so I plugged in my site here and then based on my site it gives me the overview the keywords that I can rank for uh, the URL rating stuff like that it also gives me keywords so I can also go and search for the keywords I can also go and use the site auditor so I can uh, basically get my site uh, health, see my site, site crawled pages, uh, in the indexable pages, core web vitals, I can check, you know, for backlink, stuff like that. Uh, and I can also, you know, go and do local SEO as well, which I'm not doing, but I can do it because I have auto SEO. So obviously, you know, if you want to try this out yourself, you have seven day free trial below, you can try it absolutely free. But, um, you know, kind of this is kind of my take on auto SEO and how it helps me and potentially how it can help you. So I will show you how I'm using it in detail uh, in this video. But I do have to mention that auto SEO has also a uh, AI pixel, AI SEO pixel, let's call it like that. So this is a snippet of the code that you put on your website and then your website basically uh, will be optimized over time because auto SEO will use uh, AI features to optimize your website and AI agents to optimize your website while you're sleeping so uh, or while you're not on your page so as you can see deploy thousands of site optimization and technical fixes with just a few clicks make instant changes to your website without ever leaving the dashboard so I didn't yet try this However, I wanted to just mention this because it's a very powerful feature as well. Uh, so since I'm, you know, such a new uh, person with auto SEO, I'm currently using it for content. So if you go to content and if you go to the uh, content planner here, here you can use uh, auto SEO for content planning. So you can create editorial calendars for SEO content strategy. Let's say, you know, you have uh, 10 different keywords you wanna rank for and 10 different titles, you can put that right here and you can also enter your page and then generate keyword clusters based on that. Now, one of my favorite features is AI content templates. So if you're writing blogs, if you, you know, uh, want to rank for the SEO, and you want to humanize articles, you can use these type of blog uh, templates. So for example, if you're doing Amazon product features, you can try this template, right? You just put the name, the product information, the key benefits and features, tone of the voice, and then based on that, uh, Auto SEO will generate you uh, content based on that. So that's something that you can also do. Now here you also have e-commerce um, e commerce templates, social media templates, SEO templates, uh, based on what you're writing. So for example, I'm writing about marketing, so I can click marketing, and here I have a testimonial helpers, frequently asked questions generator as well, so I can do a lot of different things with this particular tool. Now, next up what we have is we have content rewriting. So you can always put your content in here. What I did is if I go to my blog, I can go to my blog and I can click on one of my uh, articles here and I can copy that article before I actually publish it and I can paste it here and then I can rewrite that content so I can humanize that content right here so for example let's just you know copy this one right here and as you can see we can rewrite that content right here so it will be rewritten right here on the right side so if we you know obviously we need to wait a little bit but as you can see right here it's uh it's completely humanized and i can even copy this or download this i can even download this honestly i think in um, docs file or text file so that's something that you can do as well so obviously there's a lot more features here on the content side of things but that's how i'm using auto seo right now 
Now, what I'm also doing is I'm using it to analyze my website. So uh, if you click here and if you add your um, if you add your domain, which I already did here, I can see my domain rating, my uh, domain authority. I can also see the backlinks that I have and I can see the organic keywords that I have. Also, I can see the organic traffic. Uh, this is obviously just an estimate, but I can go to overview to see more in detail. Now here I can see more in detail. I like this UI better than SEMrush, for example, because it's much more simplified and I only see the things that I need to see and that are most important to me. So that's what I'm kind of uh, doing right here. As you can see, you can kind of see the SERP features. You can see, you know, which keywords are ranking uh, or you're ranking for. You can see competitors and then you can also see how many of those are informational, how many of those are navigational, commercial, transactional, right? So you can see a lot of different things here. Now you can also go and see keywords and keywords that you're ranking for and keywords that are doing great for you. And you can see the keyword difficulty as well. Now based on that, this, obviously you can see this also in search console, Google search console, but it's really great because you will be able to uh, see, okay, I'm ranking for this I'm getting this amount of monthly volume, then okay, let me do more of these type of keywords. You can also click on the keyword and then that keyword will lead you to this page right here, which is just like a keyword uh, keyword research tool. And uh, as you can see, it will give you all about that specific keyword on your specific uh, website, which is really awesome. And keep in mind, you're getting all of these features. Obviously, you have a seven day free trial, right? With our link below, but you're getting all of these features for like $100 a month, which is really a steal compared to like, for example, SEMrush. Obviously, it takes some time here to, to uh, do the keyword. So we'll go here and we'll show you uh, or I will show you more things that you can do. So obviously, check the keywords, right? You can check the topical dominance, you can add competitors here and include at least one competitor to measure your site's topical dominance. So, you know, basically what we can do is we can maybe go here and in copy this and then just add this and analyze it. And then as you can see, it will compare my website with another website. And you know, with, with that, I will be able to see, okay, where am I slacking and what can I do better in terms of the keywords or in terms of the content to rank uh, on that uh, for that keyword, right? Now here, as you can see, this is the keyword. Obviously, there's not a lot of uh, data on it but, uh, unless or except the 10 pages and four keywords in the title. And here you can kind of see more about um, the pages for that specific keyword, domain rating, domain authority, and stuff like that. So you can see more about the keyword on a keyword level. Now, obviously, as you can see here, it's, it's uh, analyzing the topical dominance. While that is analyzed or being analyzed, we can also go to site audit. So um, this is something that I showed you previously, but you can also go and here you can see the page explorer. You can also see site visualization, which I didn't honestly see this uh, anything like this before, but you can see here, uh, this is like a 3D diagram of your website. So it looks pretty cool. Honestly, I don't really understand that much, but you can see kind of the link lengths, the link width, the node size here, and stuff like that, but you know, that's not really uh, too much to worry about. A domain level, you can see the domain level, um, obviously, you know, um, core web vitals, what you wanna fix, what you, want, what you don't wanna fix. So that's something you can also do. Um, yeah, in terms of, let me just go back here. So again, you know, they are still um, uncovering topical dominance, so we'll wait for that. But yeah, that's pretty much what you have. So on the home, you can obviously go and add your uh, auto pixel to optimize your website. As you can see right here, I have already a couple of websites. So this is kind of like your dashboard. Then you have content, especially uh, AI content templates, which I showed you and how you can create content based on this. Site Explorer, so you can see an overview of your site. Keywords, which I didn't really cover, but you can go to Keyword Magic Tool. This is kind of like similar to Keyword Magic Tool on SEMrush. I really like the fact that this one is much more simple, so I can go and type in a keyword. I can click, you know, where I wanna to uh, to to have this keyword magic tool, and I can hit search. And as you can see right now, I basically um, can go here and I can see, okay, what's the search intent? What's the keyword? What's the competitor pressure or keyword difficulty? 
So uh, again, while that is okay, so we have the, we have it here basically. So you can see here, um, you know, competitor pressure. You, we can also do is we can uh, do let's say you know hundred to thousand search volume, and then based on that we can also see the low hanging keywords that we can uh, focus on. So here we have competitor pressure, right? So we'll see in a second. This is still going again. It, it does take some time, but uh, you will be able to see here competitor pressure once this is done. So, OK, as you can see right here, we get competitor pressure. We get the trend, the CPC and everything is right here. And we can see, OK, for example, this is very good uh, and we can probably um, uh, rank for this type of keyword Houston local SEO. So someone from Houston is searching for Houston local SEO. So if you're a SEO agency, you can uh, and you're doing local SEO in Houston, you can do that right here. So you can basically go and use that keyword, create content around it or try to rank around it. And as you can see, it has a very low keyword difficulty. Now, next up, obviously, we can go to next page, right? We can see here as well some other um, you know, keywords that we have. Now, as you can see, this is the second page and here we can go again and see where can we rank for. For example, this one SEO package, this is a good keyword we can rank for. Obviously, it could be better, but you get the point. So this is a keyword uh, research tool or keyword magic tool. We can also have keyword uh, rank tracker. So here we can uh, track positions, traffic and search visibility for the target keywords that matter most for our SEO strategy. And we can see how that is performing. So this is something you cannot see in Google Search Console, you know, this detail. So this will help you a lot. Next up, uh, if you go to the competitors, that's something that I wanted to show you here. If you go to competitors, we can see organic competitors for our domain. We can see how many competitors we have. And here are all the competitors and the keywords, common keywords that we have in common and then traffic as well. We can see that, for example, Go High Level is one of our competitors, 300,000 uh, you know, uh, per month traffic. And then as you can see, here's a traffic cost as well. And yeah, we can go and see this in detail. However, if you want, we can also go with a topical dominance. And then here we can compare these two websites together, which is really, really awesome. So uh, again, if you want more detailed videos on auto SEO, how to install the auto SEO pixel, which is this right here and how to really leverage auto SEO for your website, then definitely check out some of our other videos on our channel. Also check out our seven day free trial below. We have a link where you can click on below and you can check out auto SEO and try this out for yourself. So thank you guys for watching and we will see you in the next AI video.